Welcome to the second screencast in the series Setting Up Products, Pricebooks, and Opportunities. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to load products via the data loader. This is the fastest way to enter many products at once. You will need to have all your price books entered into Salesforce before moving forward. For more information on that, watch the first video in this series, How to Create and Activate a Product Price Book. First step is to prepare your CSV product insert file with the following columns. Description, is active, name, and record type ID. Make sure all products have a product name since it's a required field. Enter a description and put true or false for the is active column. Use true if you want the product to be active. These fields can also be blank. If you use record types, you will need to enter the record type ID in the column. There are two ways to obtain the record type ID for the products. The first method is to log into your org, go to Setup, enter Object Manager in the Quick Find, scroll down, Select Products and click on Record Types. In this example, the record type we're using is Product General. Locate the ID in the browser link. It's 15 characters long and starts with 012. The 012 indicates the object, Products, and the rest of the number is unique to this record type. Copy and save the ID. The second method is to export a list of record type IDs using Data Loader. This is great if you have a lot of different record types. Log in to Data Loader and click Export. Click on the Show All Salesforce Objects checkbox. Select the record type object and choose a location where to save the file. Click Next. On the next page, select the fields Name, ID, and S Object Type. Click the Finish button and click Yes on Proceed. Locate and view the file. Obtain the record type ID for the product object. Go back to the CSV product insert file and enter in the record type IDs for the products. Save the file once done. Log into Data Loader and click Insert. Select Product 2 Object and choose the CSV insert file. Click Next and click OK to confirm the number of records being inserted. Click on the Create or Edit a Map button and the Mapping dialog box will appear. Click Auto Match Fields to Columns. The column names should match up if entered correctly. If not, drag the fields down to the column mapping. Click OK once done and click Next. Select a place where to save the success and error files which can be easily accessed. Click Finish and Yes to proceed. A dialog box will appear with the number of successes and errors. If there's an error, then recheck your file to make sure the product names are entered and try again. If there are no errors, then save your success file for future use, since this is needed to associate products to price books. Now let's check to see if the new products we entered show up in the org. I'll log into the org and click on the Products tab. Select the All Products list view, and below are the new products that we just entered. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.